Connor, we're going to start a band that's not a... Oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, dude, we should start a drive shaft cover band. Oh, no. We are, everybody. <laughs> it would be so good. Oh, man. We, we can... Uh... We'll, we'll, we'll write on our knuckles. It'll be dope. Are we gonna are we gonna write fade on our knuckles or late? Where it's gonna change. It's gonna constantly change throughout <laughs> throughout the set. Good. We're just gonna Good. we're just gonna rewrap them and then it'll be like fate, and then it will re- it'll be late, and then we'll rewrap it and it'll be hate, and yeah. then we'll rewrap it again and it'll be mate. We'll have to figure out which one of us looks the most like Dominic Monaghan. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh and then Dominic Monaghan's brother, who was also yeah in that. yeah i haven't His watched most brother. yeah i haven't watched most of the most of lost in for like at least 10 years so it feels a little bit like watching it for the first time except for like you know you you watch it and you're like oh yeah this is what was happening what would you call a a drive shaft cover band <gasps> clutch stick- grip Clutch grip, stick shift. Stick shift is also good. I like stick shift. And speaking of stick shift, what's up, fandom? I'm Josh. Wow, I'm Connor. I'm Jaden. I'm Angel. And, I'm another Josh. And yeah, we've got other Josh. We've got uh, editor Josh. What was it again? I said you, your title is? Um, YouTube video podcast propaganda there artist or something like there that. There it is. Yes. Yeah. It's perfect. So yeah, Josh is joining us for the first time. Welcome, sir. Wow. You've, you've been a part of a lot of our episodes, but silently. Yes. In the background. Putting all of our yeah. cool YouTube stuff together. The secret fifth co-host. <laughs> exactly. How many? Is that many co-hosts? I actually didn't even know. There's, there there's, there's enough. Like, we've got like Jason Simpson is technically a co-host. Right. Oliver still comes on. He just moved to, uh, just be, he just became a professor at wow. NC State. So it's all oh. a weird thing with him. So he's he'll be coming back soon once he gets all acclimated to professor den professor dum mm. professor hood <laughs> professor hood Profes- Professiality. Professorship. Yes. Once once his professorship is is fully cemented, then he will be joining us uh, again, hopefully for some episodes. He's usually like our DC correspondent, so whenever there's like a DC mm. film that comes out, he usually hops on for those. So I think he's going to come on for like a su- like when we do Suicide Squad, so mm. or or Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad. I don't know what it's called. New I think Suicide, it's the Squad, Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. James Gunn yeah. Suicide Squad. James Gunn Suicide Squad. There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Suicide Squad with Nathan Fillion and John Cena. That Suicide Squad. Who ever, yeah. in your wildest dreams, would you ever have thought you were going to get Nathan Fillion and John Cena in a movie together? No. Real quick, everybody that's not Connor. Do you know who Nathan Fillion and John Cena are? I know yes. who John Cena is. Okay. Jaden was so scared of the question that <laughs> he had to leave the call. Which is fine. Jaden will come back shortly. So right now you just get us. Um yeah, yeah. Oh, Nathan Fillion, uh, he was in Castle. Mm. Uh he was in um Firefly. That was his big one. Big was one was big Firefly. He was in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Really? Was he? <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking at his he's, stuff right he's now. He's the one in Guardians of the Galaxy that uh, Groot sticks his fingers up his nose. Oh, scene. Uh, that's Nathan Fillion. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice. He's in it for like five, like not even five minutes. He's like in it for like that thirty second clip, and then Nathan Fillion's done from the movie. Wow. He was in one and two. Really? Did they continue it in two? I don't yeah. remember. I, I try not to remember two. I try to forget that that film existed. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Uh, oh, spe- 
speaking of good movies, guys, we're here to talk about Space Jam, oh, a new God. legacy. We're here. Yes. We're here. We're here to talk about it. It's going to be amazing. You guys, uh, it, it is a PG-13, no, PG movie, not 13, PG. because they're they're good boys, and they Actually, involve Looney Tunes. Actually, so, yeah, that reminded me. Okay, when I, when I first watched the movie, which was last night, and I pulled it up on HBO Max with my friends over the Discord call, it, it, it pulled up the thing that popped up that said rated, like, whatever it's rated. I don't even remember but, um, what you just said. But I literally thought it was about to say rated R when it came oh. out. <laughs> it would have been a better film. That would have yeah. been better. It would have been a if it would have been a rated R film, and uh, yeah, that would have been cool. If it were like Space Jam directed by Deadpool, yeah, like there, like yeah. there, there would have been a scene where Bugs Bunny literally kills Damian Lillard, and it would have been a. It would have been like yeah. what? It would be crazy. Space Jam Two, written and directed by Zack Snyder. I would. I would watch. <laughs> is there a Snyder cut of Space Jam? release I would it watch please the snyder cut of space jam now if i was if i was the looney tunes i would do a do a whole thing because let's see the director is malcolm lee mm -hmm. i would i would be demanding that they lease the uh, release the lee cut mm. even if there's nothing even if nothing changes even if it's the exact same i would still want them to release the lee cut yeah of space jam just to give us that meta humor. Yeah, and like nothing is different. You could you could literally, and I, I want all of the trailers to be in black and white. I don't want any. I, I want it to be just like the Snyder cut. Even the like, like collector's packaging is the yeah, exact same. I, exactly. I just want them to do a whole campaign that's just release the leak cut. Yeah. And even if there's nothing, that's what I want. If HBO is listening, Warner, Papa Warner. <laughs> Time, Time Warner himself. If you're Warner Daddy, if you're listening, do that. That would be that would be awesome. It would be amazing. You'd be and see. Then you get to make fun of yourself, and people like it when you make yeah. fun of yourself. So it's you like, tried yeah. to do that in Space Jam too. Yeah, they tried to make fun of themselves a little bit, a lot of bit um spoilers now for this movie that came out july 16th so like a month ago so yeah. lots of spoilers for space jam i mean is there there really there's nothing to spoil did you really <laughs> think lebron james was gonna well, get trapped in hbo well yeah there there's not like normal spoilers but there are spoilers for like one like oh wait hold on can I just mention any spoiler like right now? Yeah, it, we're spo exploring? spoiler free. Okay, go for it. It's like this movie. You know the how the movie's gonna go basically because it's a space yeah. jam movie. But like nothing could ever prepare me for seeing Bugs Bunny basically die and just that randomly happens. Ex yeah, except that he doesn't. And if he doesn't. He's just back two seconds later. Yeah. I and somehow he's in the real world. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. The way he died, did it remind you of like um Marvel's Endgame? Like when there um, was a little Parker bit of stark energy uh, to yeah. it, which I appreciate. <laughs> I was uh, I was looking for I was waiting for a, I don't feel so good, Mister <laughs> James. <laughs> oh, Megan Rapinoe's uh, girlfriend is in this film. Okay, interesting. Good for her. Yeah. Sue Bird, I guess, is one okay. of the basketball players. Neat. Don't ask me which one. Yeah. I couldn't is tell it, you. Was it the spider one or the snake one? I think it may be the snake one. Okay. It could be the spider one. I don't know. Because they changed them so much. Right. That I couldn't tell you who was who. Yeah. Hmm. Like. Yeah, I yep, I could, couldn't tell you. Yep, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend that they were there. I don't know, but Sue Bird was in it as Sue Bird, which is fine. Nice. Um, I like what they they did with the um. We're gonna basically make this the exact same movie as Space Jam almost. 
we're we're gonna we're gonna sort start of, yeah. off with you know young uh young oh, Bron, sure. young Bron yeah. James because yeah. like yeah. they hardly ever call him LeBron in this film. It's usually just yeah. Bron. I don't get why yeah. no they call him that and they also call him King James a lot. Yeah, I hated the reason. king part. Yeah. I was just like I, stop stop that. Yeah. Um, I, don't get why they did that. I will th- I will say this movie was the first time that I ever saw like the King James logo thing or like the LeBron James yeah. King logo thing on his jersey. Sure. I think that's a pretty dope logo. Like sure. if you're if you're gonna be, you know, think yourself important enough to have your own logo, I think that's a cool one to have. Like Derek Jeter never had his own logo. I can tell you, you know, who's a better superstar there. But um <laughs> just saying. Um Sorry, Braun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I hate. First of all, I hated the fact that they called him Braun the entire film. Um, I, but, but I guess they called. Did they call Michael Jordan? Like they called him. Do they call, they call him Michael Jordan? I don't Michael, think they, they, call they call him Michael. They call him Mike or Michael or Michael Jordan. And that's yeah, it. I don't think they ever call him like or Mr. Mikey. Jordan. They never call him like Ike or anything like that or. <laughs> You know, like take half of his mm. name. They never call him like cool or anything like that. So I thought I don't know. It's weird. Maybe um, people like maybe that's just what people casually call him in his life that are close maybe to him. He's really French. Maybe. And it is more like LeBron. And so like he's LeBron. just the, he's just like the Braun. Yeah. Like the Braun James. And so like yeah. just calling him Braun, they're just like, Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that extra the. We don't need it. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. it. Maybe we've just been all wrong this entire time. As, uh, guys, I'm sorry. We're we're like skirting around this episode <laughs> because there's really nothing to talk about. Well, there's there's, some, there's something to well, talk about. There are a few there's things. Some, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like the, the animation. Like, let, let's start with positives. Yeah. Let's start with positives. Yeah, the animation is for real, like really good for this movie. I also... I, I'm not really as too big a fan of like the 3D models of the characters, but I do no. like how they they kept they for most of the movie at least, or it felt like most of the movie, they kept to the 2D like traditional yeah. animation, which isn't a thing you see in a lot of bigger movies now. Yeah, yeah. most of them are just CGI and 3D, which is fine, but I like 2D a lot. Yeah. That's what I was most surprised about, especially since the trailers mostly showed them in their 3D version. Mm. So when they showed them in 2D, I was like, oh, this is probably going to be like a two minute sequence and like the only 2D edit. And it kept going. And I was like, oh, OK, this is lasting a lot longer than I expected. And I was really pleasantly surprised. Yeah, so. same. Mm-hmm. Like because yeah. like I think the only 2D stuff that we got was like there was like a 2D LeBron James that they showed a little bit. And like yeah. a little bit of like the meeting with him and Bugs, but that was basically it. And so when we got to actually see, and then what would, it, and then what was on the poster, obviously. Yeah. Um. But then, but yeah, everything else, everything, everybody's in that like three D weird CG looking thing. So I yeah, I'm right, I'm right there with you, Jaden. Like I really like that. Like they kept the majority of the film two D, and I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you guys? What do you guys think about the uh, the animation? I thought it was nice because, like, um, the last podcast we were, Jaden was talking about how the animation is going to be great. And I was like, okay. So I watched the movie. I was like, oh, you're right. It was yeah. so, like, I didn't expect it. I even like um, LeBron's 2D version. It was nice. Mm-hmm. I yeah. thought he was going to be 2D, like, for the rest of the movie until um, until he got changed back. So I was like, um, is he going to change back for the basketball game? So I didn't know. And that's something that was different. From the first one, because in the first one they didn't cartoonify uh, Michael Jordan. No, there's only at all? there's only one time where Michael Jordan is animated, and even then it's not like actually Michael Jordan. It's when the guy who's telling them like, "Yeah, once I once your tunes lose, I'm gonna basically make you work in the mines and everything, and all the little kids are gonna beat up on you." And it does this like animated. <laughs> it's just like very, yeah, like very like out of out of nowhere like very serious animation sequence yes yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like deathly hallows where yeah. there's that random animation <laughs> sequence in the deathly hallows that's uh, exactly okay. what happens in space jam then the in the original space jam so it's bizarre and uh but that's the only time so i like the fact that they actually animated 
And honestly, like if the movie would have been like a full animation of just like the way that the tunes look, just regular 2D, I probably may have liked it a little bit more. Yeah, I, like, I like the mix of um, 2D when they do mixes of 2D and uh, 3D like styles. Like um, one of my favorite shows is like has always been Gumball because they have a mm. mix of different animation styles. And that would look really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, music. There was music in the film. Some of it I really enjoyed. Yeah, I remember none of it. Same. I, I remember... lied. I lied when I said that. I I said when I said uh, I enjoyed it. Like it's just like okay. there's really nothing in there. I mean, there's like a yeah. I mean, it's it it just feels like a regular movie. It felt like they were going for the same soundtrack as Into the Spider Verse. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Why and, they... Which makes sense. Like it's it's yeah. When it's they made very... the first Space Jam, whose idea was it to, for some reason, make a huge, big soundtrack with tons of R and B and stuff like that on it? Because that they just were feels like, weird. Well, because at that point, Warner was like, "We have a very impressive musical catalog." And so we need Bro. to showcase this musical catalog. This in, That's yeah. why R. Kelly's at the beginning of the first Space Jam movie. Because they're True. like, hey, we got R. Kelly. Might as well put him in there. And they did. Similar to this movie, this a lot of this movie just feels like a like Warner's flexing. Yeah. Like, look at all this <laughs> stuff that belongs <laughs> to the, us. Look did at you the, guys know we own the Matrix? Or whatever. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, this is... This is and them them saying like HBO like every five seconds. Yeah, and it's like yes, we've got all of the Warner and all of the HBO. And by the way, it's like you why like you know who I am. It's like yeah, we get TNT, and it's like yeah, that was that was that was a good yeah. joke. Um, yeah, like when they were doing stuff like that, I was like, yeah, this is definitely Warner being like, yay Disney, look what we got. We have all this stuff, like your your hbo max subscription that you're paying for you can also once this film is done go watch the matrix i yeah. mean go watch go watch uh, rick and morty go watch rick and morty we got <laughs> rick and morty we got was, honestly the weirdest I, thing uh, in this movie i mean those scenes i i think i don't like using this word a lot because it's just overused and i don't like it a lot the word cringy for yeah. those scenes where they insert the looney tunes characters because i mean it's like a neat idea but if it, it obviously it's just like very obvious. Hey, we own this, and you know what this thing is. Go watch that afterwards yeah. on HBO Max. And also, um, I'm not. It's weird what movies they picked because I don't know any kid that knows what Casablanca is. They yeah. just I randomly mean, insert them into Casablanca in the in in like in like the zeitgeist i'm pretty Four sure points. you know i was like a little the, shook it to see like, that with, in the background <laughs> i mean like I, i'm sure people are like frankly my dear i don't give a damn oh wait no that's gone with the wind sorry um wrong wrong film Whoops. Uh, um what is it they say play it again oh we'll always have paris that's it i think we'll always have paris is a very you know zeitgeisty thing that you know is just kind of like in the popular culture now i guess um and uh yeah i don't know but also i don't think play it again sam ever they ever no. actually say that in the film i think that's one of those uh mandela effects but um i i i kind of like it. i thought it was i thought it was nifty. i like what they like and honestly if if more of the film would have been them going into different hbo properties i think i may have liked that a little bit more maybe that was nice too yeah like i had a question I, I about that too yeah like, you know, when they were having the basketball games and all these characters came through, not all of them yeah. are belong to Warner Bros, right? No, it was like some Warner people, are, they all of them, like there's even some... like the human characters, like it. Yeah. And that. Oh, yeah. And they're just, yeah. they're Funny ones that have film rights yeah. to. Yeah. They're, they're anything that, that Warner has the film rights to, they are yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got, That's why you got the, Pennywise, you got the mask. Or the 60s Batman series characters. Yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. weird that we didn't get like Batman the animated series Batman. I guess you know technically, I mean? technically that, they show they show that in like for half a second when they did the Superman bit. Well, here's yeah. the thing: like Batman was never there. Bat Batgirl was there. They didn't oh, yeah. show Batman, and so that's why I was like, 
I wonder if there's maybe something weird there. There may be some, I don't know. Some weird copyright thing. Yeah, because mm. it's like, I, I, like, that's one of those things I'm like, because like everything else, because I mean, that was like the, the adventure, like the, the Adventures of Superman thing that they did, um, which was technically like the fourth season of Batman, the animated adventures. It was like Superman, the animated adventures. And then they went to like the fifth season was um, back to Batman. And that's when they introduced to the Tim Drake Robin. Um, so yeah, like, so it, it was a lot of that, you know, a little bit of a different style, but I like that bit. Cause like you get to see like Clark Kent and like Jimmy Olsen yeah. and Lois Lane was there. Alfred was there. I thought they, like that was really, that was really cool. And they got the justice league, which was nifty. Um, got Mad Max. That was pretty cool. Casablanca, yeah. the Matrix. Uh, we did a little bit of Game of Thrones. I feel like we could have done a little bit more in Game of Th <laughs> Thrones. Like that would have been funny to have like Foghorn Leghorn literally interacting with Kit Harrington. That would have been really funny as well. I just him on the dragon. I thought the funniest, the funniest like joke in that little like sequence was. Um, was Wiley e. Coyote spraying himself with chrome and then yes. flashing a sign that says "Witness Me." Mm -hmm. I laughed quite hard at that. Oh, one. Yeah, that was definitely like of the of the scenes that we did. That I think that one was the best. Like I, yeah. I like the Wonder Woman one. I think it again. I think it would have yeah. been cool too if it was like two D Lola Bunny literally doing the exact same thing that uh, Gal did in the wonder woman yeah. 84 film like i think yeah. like if they would have been that exact thing but they just took her and put you know animated like little bunny in there. Yeah, yeah i think that would have been hilarious yeah um because then you've got yeah then you have like everybody kind of looking on like yeah and it's yeah. all just a bunch of like and yeah. like non-animated people like i think that would have been really cool yeah. i found but, it funny that they use like the same like the the little guitar riff oh yeah i thing. love that the do 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 uh, and, and I think from now on, we should only refer to uh, Lola Bunny as uh, a member of uh, Thermoscura. So I think of course. that's dope. Um, I like that yeah. scene. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. it was cool. And yeah. then, yeah, Rosario Dawson as Wonder Woman telling mm. or, or Diana uh, telling her that, yes, you are of a is it Amazonian. Amazon. I guess. Amazon. Yeah. yeah. That was it was cool. Like there there was a lot of cool stuff in there. Um and then I Rick and Morty just like dropping off Taz and being like, take your dog back. We don't want it. You know, that was that was kind of clever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was like because I mean like hey, it was basically they, Kingdom Hearts the movie. Basically, yes. Like a little and bit. I would love to have seen, <laughs> you know, more of that. That's kind of like one of my big things. Like really, I only I only have two complaints about this film. Um, that we didn't really get more of that. And then everything that involved the James family. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Those are my I'm, only complaints about this entire film. I think honestly, one of the funniest aspects of this movie to me is it's not even really like that funny. It's just, it is mm -hmm. to me. It's that every single person in the movie is not a real person in his family. I don't know why that's funny <laughs> to me. He just has a, yeah. Fake, yeah. a fake son and a fake daughter. It's it's oh, real LeBron son. and then his fake family. Yeah, I didn't understand yeah. the point of that because they got like, because he has two sons and one daughter. I'm like, so what's the point of yeah. not getting his family just to play that part? Because it's not like they if play that long. Well, I mean, may, maybe his... Professional... I mean, may, maybe like the kid that... Like, if, if like the kid that played Dom, which also I don't... A terrible name. Um... Uh, for like, I like Dom. Like, uh, what was it? Like, uh, I thought it was Prince. Wait, Dom Ball. Yeah, like, Dom Ball. Oh, he made. Yeah. Um. So, like, with Dom, uh, like maybe you can't have the son be that character. Maybe you have that character. I mean, that character is going to be do a, be doing a lot of acting. Yeah. Um. But I mean, like, you have you cast Sonequa Martin Green in this film, and I'm like. She's phenomenal in The Walking Dead. She's absolutely yeah. phenomenal right. in Star Trek Discovery. And then you're like, we're going to have her play LeBron James's wife who does nothing in this entire film. Yeah. And I'm like, what was, it, what was, they, there was a lot of casting in this that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, this is you the also other, cast Steven like Yen and Sarah Silverman. And I'm like, yeah. why are you guys in this film? 
it casting in this movie is both the casting in this movie is most amazing and horrible for so many reasons. Yeah, like, Don yeah. Cheadle as a villain is weird. Like he does okay. his best, but he played I, that part really good. Yes, I felt yeah. like the Marvel movies helped him. Well, I'm gonna, I, I think, I'm gonna I think say Don this. Che- this might... Sorry, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, sorry. No. Um, okay, this might be like a weird opinion, but so every time I see Don Cheadle in a movie, he's never like the best part or even like that much of a memorable part of the movie sure. and this he is literally the best thing in the whole movie yes he's like yeah. okay yeah the greatest performance ever it was yeah, um, yeah. he's like, really given his all in this one. Oh, definitely i mean like for what he had to work with and the fact that he basically <laughs> had to work with uh his hands tied behind his back whenever he had to interact with lebron james yeah. uh that just to me i'm like bro you did great you did amazing. Yeah. Like when he's it just like really when good. he's interacting with Dom, those are really good scenes. When yeah. he's interacting with the little robot or little Pete. blue Pete, yeah, you know, it's like really good scenes. Those mm. are pretty funny. Um, yeah, like other, but and then then he has to act with LeBron James, and then it's like he has to carry those scenes, and those scenes never feel as good as yeah. when he's you know with you know another actor. Mm-hmm. And they even talk about that in this film. Like LeBron, there's literally a line where LeBron, he's with the HBO reps or the, the Warner reps. And he says, I don't think this is a good idea. It's like, it's never, it, it never works well when you have athletes as actors. And I'm Which like, they I was just about to ask that. Do y'all believe that um, he wasn't a good actor for this movie? Because that's what some people believe. Like his acting was not like the best. Yeah, no, he, I didn't think he was good. I love when there's like a scene where he was like falling off a cliff in the Toon World and he said, ah, and that's yes. exactly how he said it. The problem, <laughs> like one of the problems with, <laughs> that I found with this movie is kind of like encapsulated in that, in that like, like that line is meant to be a reference to the first Space Jam as like a kind of like, we had, remember the last time we did this? Um, and that it's them trying to be self-aware. Yes. But the problem is, in being self-aware, they're also drawing attention to the problems that still exist in the movie. Yes. And, um, and that is an issue. Going with uh, kind of what Josh said, there's another scene at the end of the film after they win the ball game and yeah. he and Dom wake up. Dom wakes up and he's like, Dad? And then LeBron James wakes up and LeBron James is like, son. And I'm like, your kid has a name. You wouldn't wake up and be like, son. And literally oh, say it funny. just like that. I'm like, bro, are you serious? Like, and the way he said it, it was like his voice too. But I feel yeah. like that's why they overcast because, you know, like people were complaining about Lola being not the original Lola and being Zanea because every scene LeBron was in, it was like with the an actor you really know that can act. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they that's why they to. overcast so it can cover LeBron's acting because, I mean, he did what he had to do, but the other actors helped. Yeah, yeah. and shout mm-hmm. out to Jeff Bergham who had to carry a good 15 minutes alone with LeBron James. <laughs> like, that's just like, well done, sir. Well done. Yeah. Um, speaking of Zendaya, um they had shown some like weird like like fake interview thing with i was trying to see that in the movie i didn't see that yeah like well they they didn't put it it was just it was it was shot afterwards and what they did with this one it was weird because like instead of animate like having zendaya say words uh and then animating around zendaya they Mm -hmm. which is you know what they did in this film and so they're it's not really like a dub in that little snippet commercial that they did, they animated Lola Bunny and then basically took Zendaya's voice and dubbed it over Lola Bunny. Yeah. And that sounded ter- like that clip. I I was like, this movie's going to be so bad because it was literally like Zendaya wasn't acting or anything like that. It was just Zendaya saying words. And mm-hmm. then they just put that over Lola Bunny and it didn't work. And I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds exactly like Zendaya. I don't know how they're going to do this. And then when the movie, and then Lola Bunny in the movie, I'm like, if you didn't tell me that was Zendaya, I wouldn't have known that that was Zendaya. 
You're like, oh, she's voice acting. Yeah, I'm like, oh, well, yeah. well done. Like, yeah. like phenom, great job. Like, I, I was not getting any, like, there, there are a couple times, that, you know, when you know it's Zendaya and you're like, sure. oh, yeah, it's Zendaya. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, not knowing that that's Zendaya going into the movie, like, my buddy Brady, we, I, I watched it with him my second time watching this film. Uh, I watched it with him and he didn't know that that was Zendaya. And so I was like, like at the end of the film, I was like, man, Zendaya did a really good job, don't you think? And he was like, that was Zendaya? And I was like, yeah, that was, she was Lola Bunny. And he was like, oh my gosh. So like he had no clue. And so I was like, that's job well done. When someone yeah. can't, doesn't know that you are the person, you've done a great job. Yeah. This is, I think this was one of the like frustrating things about the movie is that there were these like scattered little bits in the movie that were genuinely good and like genuinely entertaining like there were some jokes that really made me laugh the freaking mm-hmm. michael b yes. jordan scene i really that thought michael jordan was gonna be there yes. <laughs> that was like, i was like michael jordan is showing out in this movie i don't even know i thought people were just keeping yeah. it a secret like <laughs> well, because like it, because we're, we're we're they keep showing you all of these different Warner properties, and yeah. like they're literally all around the the stage. Like they have people from Clockwork Orange in the background of the movie, and you're yeah. like, oh my gosh, you're right. What the heck is going on here? Um, that's that's literally going on. And then when they're like, like I found Michael Jordan in the thing, and you're like, oh wait, yeah, Space Jam. Technically, and they are like the Looney Tunes are constantly referencing. Yeah, that they yeah, they're like oh, and the this little before, before, like the little rocket? the little aliens show up. The little a aliens times. show up. They're wearing their original Toon Squad jerseys. Yeah, for a good part of the film, and like Lola literally goes, "I've already like you can play with the uh, the NBA star," and she's she like, like, "I've already, already that done before. that." And you're like, and then when he's like. Sylvester's like, yeah, I found Michael Jordan. And you're like, oh, snap, you're right. Michael Jordan would technically, could technically be in this movie. So I thought they were going to do like a, uh, like a Gemini man type of thing and have like a young Michael Jordan in it. And I was like, okay, this will be interesting. This will be kind of cool. And then Michael B. Jordan pops out. And I'm like. <laughs> that kind of made me mad. Because they were reading his stats and everything. Like introducing him. I was like, okay, this, that, that whole scene was cool. Because the lights and everything. I'm like. He didn't show up for real. Y'all got Michael B. Jordan. How you make that mistake? That's what everybody else said too. But of course they would make the mistake. It's freaking Daffy Duck. <laughs> well, it was Sylvester, <laughs> sir. <laughs> it was Sylvester. Oh, was it Sylvester it was that Sylvester. found him? Yeah. Okay. I, thought it was my, I thought it was Daffy Duck. Well, Daffy Daffy calls Sylvester out on it. Like, oh. you, you, like the, you oh, wanted okay. Michael um. A. Jordan and you brought us Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, that's a good joke. And it makes me think, do you think they made this film? just so they could put that joke in this film possibly because i'm like if they did amazing it uh, I, also, I also love that michael b jordan did a clear eyes full hearts can't lose i love that, that I was was like, so friday cool. night lights yes okay um I thought that was great and mm-hmm. i would like, like on my last thing before we kind of like go off of that i think probably one of the best cameos in a film um <laughs> It's right up there with what I think is the best cameo in any film, which, um, is? which is Matt Damon in Eurotrip. Okay. I think he's literally he's like, they're like, oh, what is like, uh, it's it's just a regular beginning of the Eurotrip movie. And Matt Damon comes up there and he's got his head shaved. He's got like gauges in his ears and he sings Scotty doesn't know because he's part of the band and he literally just stole Scotty's girlfriend. And I'm like, job well done. It's the best cameo because they don't draw any attention Matt, to it at all. Matt Damon's been having fun with those, like yep. also showing up in Ragnarok. Yep, exactly. I'm like, Sam Neill was in Ragnarok. And I'm like, yeah. bro, Sam Neill, the best actor in any of the Jurassic Park films. <laughs> Uh, so sorry. So, uh, anybody have anything else with Michael B. Jordan? Okay, um, not Michael B. Jordan, but with what Connor said, um, yeah, there's like snippets of the movie that are like genuinely funny, and then yeah. it th- it's like spaced throughout in between all the like garbage and whatever. Yeah, and, like, the beginning, the beginning of the or near the beginning of the movie where 
LeBron like first gets dropped into Toon World mm -hmm. and he and Bugs are going through all of these like really cool like references to old like well-known Looney Tunes sequences like they're doing the Barber of Seville and they're doing the duck season rabbit season and mm -hmm. then and then Bugs does the I claim this hill in the name of the earth sort of thing I was like oh this kind of start this is starting to feel like kind of like more of a love letter to Looney Tunes which I think is a good thing for the movie and then it just and then they just kind of do away with that because yeah. they have to work in the rest of Warner Brothers. It's yeah. yeah, and it's like it's like also another thing. The movie is like way too long. Why did yeah. they make this movie two hours? It's a very long movie. They for what it is. Yeah. Cut thirty minutes out I was of this. Surprised and, that it was as long you, as it was. And you know what they could have cut out the first thirty minutes. It's boring. <laughs> you don't. Need they it. they could have cut out Robo LeBron. They could have. Actually, okay, a weird thing that I just thought was weird is that the very opening shot of the movie is just a woman's face. It's like LeBron's mom talking to him. I thought that was weird. Yeah, and like it's my, just, it's, it, yeah, you're right. It's just like very stark. It's just like, and boom, right on her face. And you're like, whoa, what? I Did the movie start halfway through? My friend. It is weird. Okay, I can't say fully everything, but my friend watched it in a not incredibly legal way. And they thought uh, it just started like that. But we don't do it was, that here it was at, the, like, at What's Up Fandom. Oh, we watch okay. everything the legal way. Correct. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> they watched it like that, and then they rewatched it with me. Mm -hmm. And they thought it was just, then they watched it, they were like, oh, okay, this is because it's a version they just found online. No, because that's actually how the movie starts. Just randomly on a woman's face. Yeah. I also got to say, um, LeBron James's coach, when he's a child, needs to back off. I was about that to kid talk about that. Literally thing. handed him that OG Game Boy like yeah. 30 seconds ago. He's not played it. He's not done anything. And the guy's like, "This thing is gonna, it's gonna rot your brain and everything. You, you, you want your, do you want you and your mama to still be poor?" And I'm like, "Bro, this kid is 10, sir. Calm down." <laughs> You're playing elementary basketball. Exactly. I'm like, it's like, you're not even junior high yet. You're fifth and sixth grade, man. Like, you give it a little bit of time. It's okay. Like, I feel like they had to do that though for the theme of the um for the yeah. theme of the movie because sure. because like the, they gotta, follow the whole day. Like, he's no fun. He just yeah follows the rules. Yeah. And we have to make LeBron yeah. James seem kind of like a dick. Like, that was, like, what they felt was, like they needed to do in this film. But I'm like, they didn't do that to Michael Jordan. They it didn't, didn't make Michael Jordan, like, feel like this, he needed to be a dick. This is the other thing. And I feel like we'll probably end up talking about this when we watch the original Space Jam. Next week. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to do that again. Because I, yeah. I saw, okay, I didn't see, I haven't seen the film in, like, so yeah, same, long. Right? Uh, yeah, same. Seen but, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I saw someone else, some a YouTuber I watched made a video on the original Space Jam today, and then he just he only showed a couple of scenes. It was so bizarre. I don't remember anything from that. It yeah yeah. Anyway, so what they do with Michael Jordan in the first Space Jam is they take like the like child Michael. The movie's not about child My Michael. It's about like by the time the movie is begun. Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. But yeah. the problem is that's not enough. He's unhappy. Well, we have we have Michael Jordan like his his father just passed away and he's yeah. he's quit basketball for right now and he's playing yeah. for the White Sox amateur yeah. or B League or whatever they whatever they call them, the minors, the minors for the White Sox. Yeah. And, and it's he's like, feeling he's feeling all like disillusioned about yeah. his career and things. And so you feel you feel bad for current day michael jordan i don't because, yeah and and because like this is like real michael jordan yeah like this is a real person who's doing yeah. real things that you actually know about yeah whereas uh, this lebron it's just like well yeah this lebron he's she's kind of a dick like i, yeah. don't, I don't know and you don't I, they don't give us they don't give me any reason to feel bad for current day lebron they're playing basketball in their private court with a freaking voice-activated ball shooter. 
I don't even feel a bad shooter. for LeBron. A, a ball passer. It's just a guy that inbounds the ball. Yeah. It's a robot that will throw you a ball. Yeah. It did make for a good game. Really, I, have, yeah. I have two things I wanted to say. But one was that you said that Michael Jordan in the first movie, like a real person doing real things. I was going to, I was going to mention this, but just quickly forgot about it is that still the, uh, the most unrealistic thing is the first space jam. And even the second one is that in that movie, Michael Jordan lives in a normal house. It was like a normal suburban house with like just two stories. And I mean, like it four seemed rooms. pretty big. I mean, it's, yeah, that house had like, uh, like yeah, a but den it was also with a like on a corner lot, though. And there's no way that Michael Jordan would live on a corner lot. And then, yeah. and then in a uh, Space Jam two, LeBron James lives in literally the biggest house in the, the world. The house you would expect LeBron James to live yeah. in. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I was gonna say is that uh, I guess we were kind of you kind of talking about like how they made LeBron James a dick in the movie. Yeah, they, kinda, they, they just is. made him. I mean, uh, here's the thing. Yeah. I don't know him personally. So no. the only thing that I am going to think, like not knowing him and not really caring about his uh, career that much yeah. other than I'm going to take my, you know, talents to South Beach or whatever uh, and the memes and stuff. All that I know about him is from, you know, s- some stuff that I've seen and then this film. And I'm like, if that's what you're wanting me to base my LeBron James experience on, it's not like, enough. That's not, yeah. And I'm just like, well, this guy, he just seems, he just seems like a dick. It just seems <laughs> like, like a bad dad. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a not nice dude. You can't make me feel bad for him because he's a bad dad. Also, maybe spend some uh, some time with your other children as well. Yeah, he's uh, got a whole. Saying. He's, he's got, got a whole more. other son. I, I still always, <laughs> I still always love the part where Don Don Cheadle. I don't, I don't know what the villain's name was. I don't care. I just call oh, him Oh, really? Cheadle. You don't remember Algae Rhythm? Yeah. No. Can you? No, he's just Don Cheadle. <laughs> no, but um, my favorite part, I think, and one of my favorite parts in the movie is when Don Cheadle basically tells the kid, "Hey, your dad uh, hates you. <laughs> let's make a let's make a game." Yeah. Um, but no, okay. The one thing I was gonna say. Well, his, he's not wrong. Don Cheadle's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> something I'm really, I'm kind of mixed on in the movies they have like this message where it, it gets really muddled where it's like um I'm trying to think of how it was it was like the thing to do with lebron and being competitive or whatever Le- and, like his lebron son. yeah lebron yeah. is like all about like basketball is work and you need to take it very very seriously it's not about having fun it's yeah. about doing what you need to do to win. Mm-hmm. Um, win. He, yeah, I, he's not watched the he has not watched the classic film um, Space Love, Jam. Love and Basketball. <laughs> so like he's not been able to differentiate between um, uh, for the love of basketball and yeah. like uh, everything like that. I mean, like he's I, definitely taking basketball as life to like a whole new level. Yeah, he's taking it to a whole new level because he got yelled at as a kid. So I wish that there had... for holding a Game Boy for thirty seconds. I wish that there had been some clue that LeBron James had watched the first Space Jam. Yeah, yeah, they, um, they should have. They should have mentioned it more. They could have had like, Bill. You know, what would have been great if they had Bill Murray in the background of this film. Yes, like just if he like, just showed up randomly yeah. do, do the da 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 and then they're like what the freak are you doing here not even that like just even even if they just like are doing like a, a zoom in on like the the crowd and he yeah. just like is like standing behind like Cinequa Martin Green just kind of like yeah just like looking around and like walks just, off screen just would have been great Bill, Bill Murraying yeah. exactly just like Bill <laughs> Murraying being like did he wander onto set <laughs> apparently they used apparently they used his photo in like the end credits like That's the credit amazing. scene where so they just okay. put like Bugs Bunny over it or whatever. Um, but no, I, so I am like kind of mixed in the movies. That message that they have with LeBron and his yeah. son. It, there's this one, there's like that one scene where they sit down and he and him and his son have like a play the, the game he made or whatever. And I don't remember what line it was. But it was like, I put myself in like the perspective of a, a young kid for a second. I thought, oh, that's a nice mess. That's a semi nice message with these mm. relationship or whatever. And what it was trying to say. Uh, and that was fine. And then the movie went on and they 
completely muddled it and made it way worse. Yeah, I think that I think that was like part. I think that kind of was a problem because of the pacing of the movie was in yeah. order to like make the character development fit the length of the movie. Things had to like get muddled and then re-resolved and then they had to do another resolution at the end. And it just kind of got to the point where like none of the emotional moments ended up landing because it was hard to tell like what was the emotional climax say for like the conversation they have on the court i just yeah. felt like the whole like i'm a big basketball athlete so my son must do the same thing that i do thing and like he has another son again like Who's we mentioned literally earlier plays basketball. Who actually plays basketball so it's and, like why don't you make him the athlete and let this kid or play? at least like, or like, maybe he's, like he's have this arc yeah. where he's like maybe maybe you make a little bit more clear like the favoritism between the two brothers can you yeah. cause you can do a lot with that um but and usually I, I i would assume that you're like as the eldest who plays the same thing that your dad does who has talent at it i would assume the father would go after that son yeah it's just that so one. weird that yeah. not, <laughs> not the middle child and not make like, the, i don't particularly <laughs> care about not basketball. make the smaller child his project yeah, yeah. And, and is is that is that what he's gonna do to his daughter as well? Like, is, is he gonna be like, like one more year, and I'll be able to get a ball in her hand, and she'll be able to start <laughs> dribbling? Like, was that is that the plan? Is that the LeBron James in the or uh, the Bron James in this film that we're supposed to see? Is that what is that what he's supposed to be going on? It's weird. It's just a weird yeah. movie. I think yeah. the film would have been a lot better if it would have been a Looney Tunes movie like they used to do with like Brendan Fraser yeah. and stuff like that. If they went to Ginger yeah. movie and it just this movie needed to be weirder. Tunes. Yeah, they just have like all the Looney yeah. Tunes do their Looney Tunes stuff with uh you know against like HBO because then you could have been like instead of like the weird like monster nba star basketball people highlight thing then -hmm. you could have literally had them go against like iron giant and like king kong and stuff like then you could have actually had a thing and it probably would have been really cool yeah and then they i don't know they fell short which would have also brought it back to like the whole thing of like love the whole like love letter to to looney tunes exactly yeah it would have been great and just make it a yeah, Looney Tunes movie and you don't need to put LeBron James in anything anymore. It's okay. We can stop. If you're yeah. going to cast actor, like if you're going to cast uh, athletes, cast actor athletes. Cast yes. people that aren't actual Cast athletes. wrestlers. Oh, yes, cast, absolutely. Yes, cast yeah. any wrestler. Could you imagine if this had The Miz in it? It would have been a better movie. Or if it would have had The Rock, because The Rock played yeah. football. You could have literally yeah. done instead of Space Jam, you could have you could have still made it Space Jam. You could have had but John Rock. Cena in Space Jam. Yeah. You could have had anybody else in this thing and it would have been better. You could have had you could have put Dave Batista in it. Like I you could have done anybody from the wrestling world because they're actors. I will and say it would have been better. I will say yeah. if they're if if you could have called it space I'm not, slam i'm not what saying that i want a third space jam but if it were to happen can we have can it can we have shack i feel like I'm, shack it would have been great would if they would fun. have had shack and charles as the uh, as the announcers yeah as a, as a kid i yeah. always thought shack was the guy in the first place he's, he's a Bam. genuinely <laughs> funny guy yeah um i was gonna say that i agree with like that should have just been most of more of a Looney Tunes movie because that, all that stuff was funny. But yeah. I do I do want to say I partially agree with that they should have got actor athletes or I agree I think they should have actually got just athletes for actors simply because that would be the funniest thing ever to see all of them poorly act. Yeah. I, have any of you guys? Um, I, I've never played the game. I've only seen clips of it. Do you guys know the NBA 2K games? Yes, yeah, and they get I know all of them to do them like yet, the though. voices and yes. everything. It's yeah. like it's not even like where they're you know act, like kind of acting like LeBron does. It's like you can't even tell what they're trying to emote. 
<laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, I love the I love watching it. the story modes of the so NBA funny. 2K games. They're so funny. Yeah. See, something like that. Like, give me something like who's like you could have done Space Jam, but football and put like Eli Manning in it. Or not not yeah. Eli. Maybe not Eli. Maybe Peyton. Somebody, just anybody else sure. who's an actor or, or, or somebody who's been in stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, at least those, like, Peyton's been on SNL. I don't think LeBron's ever been on SNL. Wow. Um, I'm, I still think you they missed out. They could do a Space Jam, like, wrestling film and call it Space Slam. I think that would be mm. dope. Wow. Um, yeah, just, just do anything except have a Porky Pig rap scene. Please. I... As soon as the thing. I, there were so many things that were worse than that that I don't even put that. That's not I don't, even yeah, in my I don't think it was that, that bad. bad. Worst, I don't even agree. Only, I think that was the worst scene in the movie. The worst thing, the only really? thing worse you than you remember the, LeBron saying, "Son, that's the worst <laughs> part in the movie." No, because that I could actually laugh at the Porky Pig scene. I wanted to die. Yeah, oh, the Porky. The only thing worse than. Oh, sorry, Pig. Okay, I was confused for a second. Sorry. We had yeah. two angels for a second. <laughs> the only thing worse than the Porky Pig rap was the moment literally seconds before when they referred to Porky Pig as Notorious P.I.G. P-I-G? That was the worst moment of the movie. That's pretty funny. Though. Actually, okay, the worst the worst thing for this, for this movie, though, was when I got an ad for it before it came out. Oh, no. It was, it was, it was the Porky Pig rap. The same oh, thing, no. except it, they cut Daffy Duck in the worst way possible to say that kid is fire. Yeah, I was <laughs> about to say was... something on that topic. There was a lot of jokes in there that felt like because I know the thing about working on movies that are animated is that they take so long to make that if they mm-hmm. use any jokes that are current of that time, they will be outdated. By the you need time to be really careful out. of how you use yeah. games in a movie. There's some jokes that just don't age well. And no. that, that was just an example of uh, I'll, I'll oh, yeah. say I knew that they were making this film and this film had already had a lot of things already done with it back in 2018. I knew right. that in yeah. 20. But even in twenty, I mean, I knew stuff had been filmed. I know that they had filmed stuff because it had been, you know, shown, and that was back in like early twenty eighteen. Yeah, this would have been like this would have been like March of twenty eighteen that I knew that this was going down. But Um, the thing from twenty sixteen that they had got LeBron James for it. Oh yeah, 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 no, yeah. Like we we knew that it was here, but I mean, like I knew they actually filmed things and like had it ready because like it was supposed to go early 2020 it was supposed to go summer of 2020 so like Mm. 2018 they already had a lot of like the principal stuff already kind of done and so it was a lot of like this animation stuff so i knew that there were scenes that had already been filmed and when we go and we're just like yep the dab there was dabbing Uh, in there and you're like "Mm." see that Mm. one that one walked the line because my how, the way I, I feel about like memes in movies is that because they are inevitably not going to age well, whatever memes you use in your movie, because of how long it takes, they're not going to be relevant. Yep. Therefore, you need to lean into the fact that they're going to be irrelevant memes and make a joke out of that. Yep. So I feel like the dad dabbing kind of toes the line yeah. Because it's already a dad. He's already a dad doing a dab. Yeah. So it kind of works. It still doesn't hit. It still doesn't (laughs) land very well. But There was also another thing I wanted to point out. Not really about the jokes. But like towards the end of the movie. When LeBron tries to have his like redeeming moment with his son. Like oh I Uh signed you up for camp after all. I'm going to support you in your coding thing. He's like, oh, I have a surprise for you. And they're literally right in front of the E3 like, building. And the kid acts surprised. It's like, how see it. How did you not know where you were going? If you know what E3 is, how did you not know where well, you see, were? Is the basketball the camp and the gaming camp in the same building? What you don't know <laughs> oh, is wow. they're both held at the Staples Center. And, and, and <laughs> basketball camp is on the court. And E3 <laughs> camp is in like the press box. Okay. Like So you don't really know that. So... No, I know. I, yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm like, if you're a child, I mean, even 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 if you're like, because I mean, like, I don't know if you guys have ever driven in L.A., you know where you're going. 
because you're in the you're in there there you're in that traffic for a bit like you know where you're going it's like and he's yeah. living i don't know where he's living he's living up in the hills so like i have no idea how he's gonna like he's ta- it's gonna take him a while to get to la uh because he's living in a nice part of you know yeah. so it's like it's gonna take him a while to get anywhere and it's like the kid is gonna be like looking around and being like wait a second basketball camp is in pacific oaks we're in like downtown LA. What's going on? It's like, yeah, you're yeah. D- like, come on, man. He, he, he was on on the way there. Yeah, it's like, oh, hey, uh, like basketball camps in you know Orange County is like it's over in Irvine. It's like, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But we're actually in LA, like we're or we're in Pasadena or something like that. Like, you know where you're at. Like even though stuff's only like thirty miles apart, it takes like two hours to get anywhere. So it's yeah. like you know where you're going for a long period of time. This is and... also just this is also just me, but I I'm I'm confused as to why when he does find out that he is at gaming camp, why does he keep the basketball? Because he's going to be like, look, this has my dad's logo on it. Give me an A. Like sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but or like when he when when the when you know. Uh, I guess maybe my dad's LeBron James and they're like, prove it. Look, here's a basketball. Yeah, it's not a huge problem. Maybe he makes some friends that decide that they want to go play, play basketball during their downtime or something. I don't like that. The kid decided that. I mean, I knew that LeBron was going to be like, hey, uh, it's okay for you to go and pursue your dreams. Yeah, of course. I didn't like that the kid was like, you know what? Maybe I'll also consider. I think basketball. I've had enough of video games. Yeah, I for didn't. Now. I didn't like that. I was kind of yeah, like, no. bro, no, that's not the message no. that we need to be sending kids. Commit to the bit. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I don't know. it is weird. Um, are you guys are, are we done talking about this phenomenal film that's like I think, the next yeah, I think there's I'm trying to find it somewhere in my head. The one other thing I have to say about this movie. Oh wait, mm. there's one thing that I just remembered. Um, going back to like uh, all the crossovers that we were pointing out, uh, the scene where they actually have the big showdown where they're actually playing the game. Mm was so distracted trying to look at the background and find characters that i wasn't yeah. actually paying attention to yeah. what was your okay. what was your favorite character that you found gremlins i guess the gremlins yeah were the gremlins or no were jabberjaw because no one Jabber- shout out to jabberjaw man yeah. i watched jabberjaw and boomerang as a kid gavin if you're listening somebody else knows about jabberjaw so there you go that's something if you are a long time listener uh, our old co-host Gavin, who we started the show with five years ago, he didn't know what Jabberjaw was, and so I would always tell him about Jabberjaw and all these different Boomerang cartoons, and he had no idea. And so I'm glad that somebody else knows about Jabberjaw. Hi, Gavin. He's not listening. <laughs> he, does, he doesn't watch us anymore. He lives in a tiny know. home. Did any of that jog your memory, Josh? Uh-huh. Was it about Jabberjaw? Were you excited that you saw? I, I like that they had um, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman and like Julie Newmar Catwoman like right next to each other. I was like, cool, they got the Catwomans together. Um, yeah. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Thinking about it, it may not have been, it may have been Eartha Kit Catwoman because like oh. the majority of the people there were movie people. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. a lot of like movie mm-hmm. people. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it may have been Eartha Kit Catwoman from the 66 Batman film because Julie Newmar was only in the show and it was mm-hmm. Eartha Kit in the film. I remember the, bit the of Catwoman Batman trivia, guys. Yeah, I remember the Catwoman was very shiny. It's mm-hmm. the Tim Burton one, right? Yep. It was the Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer, Tim Burton one. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mm-hmm. Freeze was there in his bathrobe, which I thought was pretty cool. You had Danny DeVito, <laughs> yes. Penguin. And Burgess Meredith Penguin. Um, mm. Really, I you may have caught on that I'm primarily focused on the Bat People. I was like, yeah. I like zoned okay. in on those, and I was like, ha. Ah. And Pennywise um, was there. Yeah. I found the one last thing I, I actually have left to say yeah. about the movie. It's that the whole thing that breaks like the whole game and will kill you if you were if you do it is a very like 
not entirely that complicated basketball move. Yeah, it's just a step back jump shot. Yeah. It's not anything difficult. Yeah. It's like, but it breaks the game. Yeah. I also I like how it doesn't just break the game. It literally will delete you from existence. Oh, hang yeah. On. I will say shout out to Bugs Bunny for taking that, taking it for the team. I was like, yeah. oh man, Bugs, yeah. oh man, please don't die. And then they killed Bugs, and I was I like, wish, I, I wish he just didn't come back at the end of the movie. And I was like, he just died. It would, it, honestly, it would have been more powerful, and then people would have been like, wait, did they really I, just kill Bugs Bunny? I wanted to Bunny, see. I wanted to see LeBron go and do it. That would have been cool if LeBron, LeBron died James too. Died. Like that, that is not to say that I want LeBron to die. I just no, wanted no, no. to see. But it would have been crazy for the film, and they're just like, right? how do you explain this? How how do you? LeBron how, is how dead. You... Has it's been like, deleted. Yeah, it's like how do you explain this to his agent? Yeah. <laughs> how does his agent go? Like, how does Malik go and be like, hey, um, so. LeBron, he got deleted. He was in a <laughs> Don Cheadle was there. He yeah. got deleted. And there it was, was not crazy. A, so they had that kind of thing in the first Space Jam. They had like his assist, his agent or his assistant trying to explain the madness of what's Newman. happened to Michael Jordan. Yes. All I, okay, I was going to say Newman, that. I don't remember assistant. that. Really, yeah. But I just remember Bill Murray being like, oh, Michael's gone. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's like what is it? it's like Bill Murray and Larry Bird are playing golf yeah. with him, and he gets sucked in the hole, and they're just like, yeah. Well, so then they going back there's the all clubhouse. these scenes, there's all these scenes of them having to explain to a bunch of other people like what's happened to Michael, and it's hilarious. And we didn't have we had one scene of that maybe where where the guy was like trying to avoid. That just means that nobody cares where LeBron James is 98% of the time. It would seem that way. His wife was only mad because, like, they probably they probably had some plans. He's late for dinner. Yeah, like, he, they, they, yeah. he was like, he was supposed, we have spin class in an hour. And <laughs> he's not here. We're going to miss spin. And yeah. I don't like that. Maybe they were like, we watched the new episode of Ted Lasso every every thursday at this time because yeah. all the kids are gone and we want to vet it for the kids even though i mean it's ted lasso but you know it's it's, it's fine for everybody but still there is some swearing and mm. maybe we don't want our 13 year old child to be you know in the swearing yet mm. who knows and yeah yeah maybe maybe that's what it was maybe she just wanted to watch ted lasso and on yeah. that bombshell guys i think it's time to rate this film i would agree so cool. um so our rating uh if you're new to us uh it's we do stream well rent. it's pass oh yeah pass stream well we there's really nothing that we usually say pass for it has to be like an absolute atrocity for uh usually for us to say pass don't even bother just you know if somebody offers you this film uh -huh. like if they give you a dvd snap it in front of their face and throw uh -huh. it at them like, uh -huh. that's what a pass is. So, yeah. pass, stream, rent, and buy. And then, I'm like, that weird Disney Premiere Plus thing. Yeah. That, like, you spend 30 bucks to rent yeah. Jungle Cruise. Yeah. And you don't even get to keep it afterwards. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pass. Wow. Oh, wow. It was hard. just such a disappointing movie that out of spite of what I feel I was... Uh, out of spite of the genuinely good movie that it could have been that I was denied, I I will pass it out of out of disappointment. All right, uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a stream. I do not expect anyone to pay money for this. No, I feel if you do, you should get that back. Like yeah. they had to get their money back for basketball. Like. That's what I feel. That's a South Park bigger, longer, and uncut reference wow. when Kyle and Stan say we should get our money back, like for basketball, and that's a Trey Parker and Matt Stone film. Anyway, oh, sure. I think that uh, if you pay extra money for this, I, I think that you were wronged. Mm -hmm. If this is something that is streaming and you already have access to like HBO Max or something like that, watch it. 
why not? There are some funny bits in it. The Michael B. Jordan, which we've already spoiled for you. Yeah. The Michael B. Jordan bit is good. Pretty much everything with the Looney Tunes is good. It's, the... There's some really dope animation. If you just want to look yeah. at like some really cool looking animation, that's pretty fun. Um, the the music, there's it's in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, like if, if you want to watch LeBron James not be a good actor, yeah, it's, it's a great film. Um, yeah. If you're if if you've just had surgery and you're still a little bit you know not one hundred percent there, maybe watch Space Jam. Maybe it's better. If you've ever wondered what it looks like to see Don Cheadle having fun while acting, yes, Don yeah. Cheadle looks like again. We we talked about it. it's like I think Don Cheadle best actor in this entire film. He carried the movie. He carried the film. He and he Jeff Bergman. Honestly, I, I, would, I would say, yeah. On okay, I was gonna say this earlier. Again, it's a. I genuinely think this is probably the best performance Don Cheadle has ever done in his whole career. <laughs> I genuinely yeah. think that's that. a strong claim. But yeah, I'll, I'll stick by that claim. <laughs> I mean, gonna... have you seen Hotel Rwanda? I mean, he's pretty damn good in that film. <laughs> I have seen Hotel Rwanda. I I don't care. Space Jam: A New Legacy is the best thing he's ever done. All right, fair. Uh, okay, then what would you what would you rank this movie then? Uh, I was gonna out of spite for you saying uh, that no one would ever buy this movie. Say buy, but I'm not gonna do that because no, I'm not. I would never buy this. Uh, I guess stream. I guess it's a it's a fun movie to just like put on and watch and make fun of. But that's about it. Yeah, fair. Oops. Yeah. I can live with that. Oh, uh, what about you, Angel? We'll let Jaden go last. Uh, there was zero hesitation from Angel. I didn't even get to finish my thought. She said, "Stream, just stream it, stream it. Do not buy this. Do not do not stream." It. <laughs> oh man! Uh, wow, that was that. Was, well, snappy, Jaden. Oh, I hope you I'm didn't need time saying. to think. No, <laughs> I felt the same because I, I have HBO Max. So I was able to just stream it there. I saw the day came out. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty similarly to what you said. Uh, not Josh, editor Josh, but <laughs> about, I, you know, I like the animated parts in it. It does have some, some decent like humor here and there. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I would definitely stream it. I wouldn't buy it though. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, and yeah, next week we're gonna do uh OG Space Jam. Mm. Original Space Jam. I'm ready. It'll be fun. We're gonna get original Lola Bunny. That'll be fun too. Mm. Sure. And then we can compare her and Zendaya, I guess. I don't know. Um, we're also gonna get like not player. original Looney Tunes characters, but I mean we're gonna get pretty close to Looney Tunes yeah. characters. Who played her in the original Space Jam? Uh Vamp. Oh. Um, I, uh, I really weather know. things. Wow, you guys are terrible about vamping. Man, yeah. I have you ever? Have, who's your favorite vampire? Spike. on a vamp. David from, Boreanaz, my favorite I, vampire. I was gonna say Peter from What We Do in the Shadows. Ooh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 what's his face? Um, Brad Pitt from Interview with the Vampire. I didn't know he was a vampire in that. Um, yeah, he's the vampire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's the vampire that they have an interview with. Yes. Uh, uh, Kath Sochi. Sochi? Suchi. Okay. Plays Lola Bunny. Neat. Okay. I guess. Sure. Not really sure who that is. Um, but yeah, we have because uh, that's uh, Billy West, I believe, as uh, um, Bugs. As Bugs, yeah. Wow. I did not know D. Bradley Baker did uh, Daffy Duck in that movie. I mean, at this point in time, D. Bradley Baker is just everybody. Yeah. yeah. He's in everything. We're all D. Bradley Baker. <laughs> He's Pretty in everything. Much. Mm hmm. 
Uh, yeah, so next week we've got, um, yeah, OG Space Jam. So that'll be fun. We're, we're yeah. going to uh, get down and we're going to head into overtime. Are and, y'all ready for this? Uh, however, the rest of that song goes. But I don't think we can actually sing it because it's copyright. Yeah. Um, yes. So, yeah. Th- so that'll be fun. Um, and, yeah, we've got some other episodes coming out later. It'll be fun. we got some more stuff. More episodes. Right. Everybody likes episodes. And if you don't like episodes, <laughs> maybe listen to them anyway. Maybe you will. Ooh, Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Uh, Angel, where can everybody find you social media wise? Y'all can find me on Instagram, Twitter at AWayZanny. Noise, Jaden. Actually, uh, I don't care. If somebody, you guys can go wherever you want. Go, <laughs> go, Jaden. You've been called upon. Are you trying to say I have been Jayden, summoned? Okay, I'll come back. Um, I'm uh, Pixel Latte on all platforms with two I's and two T's. Pixel Latte. Nice. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at either Connor Deason or at TallAnkyGuy96. I'm also on YouTube and Twitch and TikTok at TallAnkyGuy. Nice. Oh, wait, I'm the only one left. Yeah, yeah. you're here. Uh, yeah, uh, you can find me on YouTube at jcox 98 uh, which is a weird name, but I have it in like the description of every video, so just click that. Nice. Uh, I guess that's really all I use. Pretty much everything else I use isn't related to that at all. So just that's it. There you go. Nice. Um, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh L. Kane. You can find the podcast on Instagram at What's Up Fandom, on Twitter at What's Up Fandom PC for podcasts. All of our episodes available iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Google Play, Spotify. Check out our video content on YouTube. Hopefully, we'll have more stuff coming out soon. Uh, we'll do more. We'll do more stuff. More we gotta, things. We got to do some more things. Um, mm-hmm. We'll maybe start streaming again. I'm taking a break from streaming for a little bit, to, just just to kind of like. Well, I like how you said that we're gonna start streaming again. Well, no, no, no. So, like, well, I'm not gonna no, be streaming. No, so no, no. Like, I'm taking a break from my own channel, um, just to like refresh myself and get some new ideas for that. Which means that I have some time if we want to stream. There we go. That'll be fun. Maybe yeah. we can stream some phasmophobia. Yeah. And, and stuff like that. And we can do ghost hunting. Jason Simpson definitely wants to do some ghost hunting, Connor. So I would I think love it would to be fun hunt some to, ghosts to hunt goose. some ghosts with Jason. Yeah. That would be that would be fun. Um, you can check us out there on the Twitch at What's Up Fandom. Convenient everything's the same name mm-hmm. um thanks to our sponsors one out of ten no they don't sponsor us they just do the yeah, the mood thanks <laughs> thanks to one out of ten for the intro and outro uh music for this episode uh they are touring again so if you are in cali um check them out they are doing a bunch of tours um there are you can also check out all their music on spotify which is pretty dope um also to our sponsor they actually sponsor us i swear um wild bill soda uh get yourself some delicious craft soda like uh the blackberry i've got i've just got a new shipment coming in so hopefully by the time our next episode comes i'll be able to have tried the blackberry hmm. and i'll be able to give you a uh, a, a a mouth tour of <laughs> what the blackberry tastes like i'll be able to give you a nice ocular pat down a of, tasting review yeah I'll, I'll give you an mm-hmm. ocular pat down i'll be like okay it looks like this, and then I'll give you a tasteal pat down. Tasteal? Um, that's nope. I was about to say oral pat down, but that gets weird. That's different. So yeah, we don't want to go there. So anyway, uh, you can. They're gonna love this ad read. Um, yeah, be sure you can get some delicious <laughs> craft soda from them. Uh, just go to drinkwildbills.com. Also, the description in the show notes will have uh, the link to our stuff for them. Um, click on that. Get yourself some delicious soda. Use code FANDOM10 at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. Delicious, yummy, craft soda, drink wild bills. Um, and it's summertime, and it's hot. Mm. It's, it's ending summertime, but summertime is still hot. around. But it's still very hot, so get yourself some soda. It'll uh, it'll cool you down. And if you don't like the taste of soda, it's probably because you're drinking bad soda. You're not drinking mm-hmm. wild bills soda. You're drinking, like, 
10 cent soda that you can get at like a crest or something like you're drinking like Shasta Cola. Um, I say that lovingly because I grew up on Shasta Cola and you could get like 12 cans of Shasta Cola for a dollar. Wow. Like, that's, that's, that's how much like the, the aluminum you get five cents for an aluminum can. So it's like, you're almost making your investment back on a can of, of Shasta. Wow. So it's like, yeah, it's it's not bad, um, but it's not good soda. But you know what is good soda? Someone say it. Is it is it Wild Bills? It's Wild Bills. That's some good soda. <laughs> so wow, guys, we're I need, I need a little bit more, a little bit more. Oomph. I was uh, I was pausing for suspense. It, it you did a great. It was very <laughs> suspenseful. Definitely Thank go you. to Wild Bills, drink some yummy soda. <laughs> um yeah and yeah next week we've got space jam so look forward to that we're gonna space this jam up jam up the space i don't even know what that means and then after that we're gonna continue our sports and we're gonna do air bud oh okay i don't think we're actually gonna do that oh yeah (laughs) i don't know connor seemed very excited about air bud no it's just that's the first movie that ever made me cry so it has a i think mine may have been land before time you know yeah. what? We should do Cry Timber. And it's so, just the movie, the first movies that you ever remember crying to. So Airbud and Bridge to Terabithia. Oh man. When she <laughs> when when Josh Hutcherson comes back from camp or whatever and like girl isn't there anymore because mm. she fell off the bridge and drowned, and you're like, oh, no, so oh, sad. No. Sorry, I spoiled the Bridge to Terabithia movie that came out almost 20 years ago um yeah so thanks everybody for for coming on um and listening uh rate review on itunes and and youtube and all the other places leave us a review say that you liked it say you didn't us, like it Doesn't give us matter. the the internet dopamine yeah we yeah. need we need those likes uh uh how, how do they do it on the youtube josh it's, what do you mean? It's you like, like and, you comment, you ring the bell, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit like, like and subscribe. You subscribe, pound that like button yeah. or something. Smash the like button. Beat it to death. Just beat it to a. I pulp. need to watch some like, I don't know, like Minecraft streamers or something, and see how like get that energy up and do it just like them. Oh. And, and yeah, oh. so whenever I was about do... to say, I know a Minecraft streamer, but I don't really keep the energy up. I, I pride but, myself but we need on to being only very do chill it for that, for, for just like right. that little bit. Let's end this thing. It's gone entirely yes. way too long. Oh, yeah, that's um, true. So for What's Up Fandom, I'm Josh. I'm Connor. I'm Jaden. Oh. I'm Angel. And I am other Josh. Bye bye, little butterfly. Goodbye. Really, guys, come up with something. I mean, give me, give me some sort of like outro stuff. You know. Hey, what's up, Jack? <laughs> oh yeah, from uh, Bridge to Terabithia. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>